Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is... I got one. One, get a delinquent to chase you. Two, go to a place that has a lot of people. Three, put the camera in cinematic mode there. Four, let a delinquent hit you at that spot. Will the students react to the delinquent killing you? Okay, I know the perfect time to get a delinquent to hit me in front of some people. So let's grab our naifu. We got Midori Kurino right here. And let's end that fucking laifu. That's all we gotta do. It's that simple. And we're gonna pick that green-haired ass up and head on over to the delinquents. Okay, here's my plan. When the delinquents spawn, I am gonna teleport to the courtyard where all the students are. Then I'll have the delinquents hit me and we will see if they react. So let's fast forward time a little bit. And I gotta stop it right before so I can pull up the debug menu. There we go. And we'll keep it up. And ready, set, go. What? Do it. Okay, drop it. Oh, fuck. No, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. Okay, put it in cinematic. And I'll be right here. Let's see if they notice the delinquents smacking me over the head. Wait, where the fuck are the delinquents? Hold on. I don't think the delinquents are here yet. And that fuck boy's running away. Damn it. Okay, hold on. Maybe I... Oh, what the hell, Saki? Why are your legs shaking? I know your classmate's dead, but just chill. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Delinquent is chasing me. Okay, let me put the camera right here. Oh, shit! Okay, they didn't react. I did it right there. The students were still scared. They didn't react to anything that I did. I don't think putting it in cinematic mode is going to change anything. So, yeah. The students will not react to a delinquent hitting you right in front of them. They won't react at all. They'll just react to whatever situation they're in. On to the next one. Here's something. Put on the speed up panties. Join the sports club. Get PE to max. Can you outrun a teacher or even delinquent? Okay, I don't think there's any way in hell you're going to outrun a delinquent. But I am going to join the sports club to see if I can outrun a teacher. And I'm going to wear my favorite panties. You know, those sexy, lacy ones. Almost thong-like that make my ass look big. Yeah, I'm going to put those on and let's see if I can outrun a teacher. So let's join this club. Greetings. Join club? Yes, ma'am. You have joined the club. All right, we have joined the sports club. Now we have to max out our physical education. So let's go to class. And then let's max this bad girl out right here. There you go. All right, time to put on our panties. Which is the one that can help us run faster? Only a boring girl would wear such plain panties. Hey, I wear these kind of panties. And Nani, you're still wearing animal panties at your age? Well, fuck you too. Pink is the color of compassion, nurturing, and love. All right, faster run speed. These booty looking spandex yoga shorts. Let's wear these and let's head to school. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am gonna attempt to do what no Yandere girl has tried to do before, and that is outrun a teacher. So let's grab our naifu and this bitch is naifu, and then we are gonna pick her up just so we can get extra speed and show and tell, bitch. Let's go. Oh fuck, I'm stuck in the disc. I'm stuck in this. Open it, open it, open it, open it. Go. All right, let's see if we can outrun this. Teacher, go! Damn, I'm running pretty damn fast though, and she can't even get me. Yeah, boy! All right, where is she? Hold on, she's not even chasing me. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, there she is. Okay, let's run and let's see if she can ever catch up to me. I'm just gonna play ring around the rosy around this classroom, and I'm pretty sure she's not gonna get my ass, cause I'm outrunning her pretty damn good. What the fuck? I'm going super speed. I'm like Sanic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is true. The teacher hasn't caught up to me. This is like my fifth time running around this whole building. So yeah, if you max up your physical education, join the sports club, put up your speed up panties, get the teacher to notice you and try to chase you, she is not gonna get your ass. Cool, on to the next one. Actually, not on to the next one yet. I wanna see if a delinquent can actually get me because I've been running so damn fast. So let's get them to spawn and see if we can outrun them too. All right, guys, it's almost showtime. We're gonna get ready to blast Whoa. the fuck off, go! I'm not going Ooh. down without- Oh yeah, that. come and get me, you son of a bitch! You're not gonna get me with your slick back hair and your weak ass crowbar! Let's go! I don't think he can catch me. Hold on, I'm gonna keep running around this track. Yeah, there's no way this fuck boy's getting me. Let's go, Midori! We're gonna run and we're gonna be free! Woohoohoohoo! Come and get me, you fuckboy! Yeah! I don't think he can get me either. 
So a teacher and a delinquent can't get you if you max out your physical education, join the sports club, and put up the speed up panties. Wait, actually, I'm trying to run without Midori in my arms. This fuckboy still isn't getting me. Yeah, you can't get me, sucker. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll let you get me. Psych! Let's go! Oh, you can get me. Fuck you! <laughs> Run! Oh, you want me that bad? Here, I'll stop. stop. <laughs> okay, seriously. They can't get you even without Midori in your arms. On to the next one. How to get giant bento. One, max your science stat. Two, get the poison. Three, give poison to Kakona's bento. Four, while she eats, turn into titan mode. Five, and voila. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. She said, and voila, like she's a damn magician. All right. I don't think we need to max out our science stat because with all of this stuff, you know, we can already use the poison. And I know chemistry is the one where you can use the poison. So we'll be all right. Biology uh, is the ability to use the tranquilizer. So we're good with that. And we ranked up all those other things just for shits and giggles. So right now, let's head on over to the science lab that's over here. Yeah, science lab. Grab the poison right over here. How does she know what the poison is? They're all blank bottles. Whatever. She's on dairy chan. She knows everything. We are going to head down on over to the courtyard where Kakona is eating her tasty, tasty bento. And let's see the magic happen. Actually, I'm a dumbass right now, guys. Kakona does not go to the courtyard on Monday. She actually goes up to the roof to talk to Saki about her domestic abuse problem. So let's head on over to the right day and then poison that bento. Okay, here comes the girl of the hour, Kakoni with her bento. Oh, and then her thirsty is. ass is gonna be excited to see Senpai. So she's gonna put that shit down. There you go. Yeah, go spy on Senpai, even though he's just sitting there awkwardly. Doesn't he have any friends? All right, poison this bitch. Okay, we're gonna wait for her to stop humping that tree and looking at Senpai, and then we're gonna turn her ass into a titan. All right, there you go. She's about to eat it, and let's do this shit! Giant bento? Yes! Giant motherfucking bento. And even better, giant motherfucking chopsticks. Let me see if I can get a picture of that shit. Can I get a picture? Oh, shit. Oh, she's choking. This bitch is choking. Grab those double Ds, girl. Oh, giant bento. <laughs> Let's go. Nom noms for days. Damn, that is so cool. Can I eat this? Oh, I'm sorry. You're choking? Oh, wait. You're turning into a spinning ball and going away? Yeah. But look at this bento, though. I mean, I know Kakona's a giant and she's dead. But look at this fucking bento, though. Everybody, notice this bento. Senpai, notice this bento right here. This shit is awesome. Wait, there's a teacher here. She has nothing to say about this big-ass bento. And look at this fuck boy. <laughs> Stop spinning around, man. Admire this bento. I ship this bento so fucking much. Anyway... That's how you get a giant bento. You poison her bento, turn her into a titan. She drops it all nice and neat for you. Chopsticks are giant too. On to the next one. What do you think happens when you click the snap button? In a perfect world, when I click the snap button, hopefully it stops people from asking me what the snap button does. Because as for now, snap button doesn't do shit. People have asked me that so many times. I've answered it in so many of the myth episodes. And it still doesn't do shit till this day. But hopefully in the future, it does something epic as fuck. But I know a lot of people are going to be let down. Because Snap might not meet the expectations of a lot of people. But as for now, like I said, Snap doesn't do shit. Hopefully that is debunked forever until Snap is implemented into the game. On to the next one. If you teleport to the Light Music Club, you'll be the only one there. If you spawn to the Occult Club, then back to the Light Music Club, Oka will teleport with you. Okay, this one should be very easy because all I have to do is teleport. So let's go to the Light Music Club. And yes, it is confirmed that we are the only ones here. Then let's go to the Occult Club. And uh, Oka's vag is riding in front of my face. <laughs> Oh, Oka, somebody hasn't washed in days, but you know what? I am not, uh, I'm not gonna say anything. That is a personal problem. All right, let's go to the light music club. And there's Oka. There's our girl. Hey, where you going, Oka? You gonna go back to the occult club? You're like, wait, how the fuck did I teleport to the light music club? Yeah, I'm confused too. All right, let's see what happens if we go back to the occult club. There she is, badge resting on my face. Light music club. She's still a part of me. And let me see something. Let me grab this saw and this laifu. Go to the occult club. I ended her laifu there too. And then light music club. Yes. Her body is in the same spot no matter if you teleport to the light music club 
or the occult club. So I do this, do that. She is in both spots at the same time. What if Oka has a twin? Let me dismember her in both clubs. Oh shit, I'm gone. Yeah. I teleported to both clubs. I'm doing that right now. I'm teleporting to and from the light music club. So she's also in the light music club and the occult club? No. Nope. No, she's not. She's only in the light music club if you dismember her in both clubs. That's weird. Let me pick up uh, this head. See if I drop it here. And then teleport to the light music club. Yeah, okay. So once you dismember her, obviously she stops following you. But yeah, that's pretty cool. If you teleport to the light music club and the occult club, she will follow you to both locations unless you kill her. Then her dead body will, you know, go between both locations. Once you dismember her, though, she will, uh, she'll be at the location that was the last one where you dismembered her, if that makes any sense. So that's a pretty cool thing to try if you want to have Oka alone in the light music club. On to the next one. I may have one. One, kill a social butterfly, for example, Saki or Kokona. Two, straight away after you kill one of them, pull out your phone. Will they die while doing the pose? Okay, that one kind of confuses me. Am I supposed to pull out my camera as they're falling to their death? Because that's going to be pretty hard. Because while they're dying and falling in the animation, you're kind of stuck in that animation. Oh, wait, let me put away my naifu before senpai sees me. Yeah, while you're killing them and then they're falling, you're stuck in an animation so you can't really do anything. But you know what? I'm going to try. Let me get uh, one of the social butterflies to follow me. Let me get her to follow me. Yes, can you follow me, please? All right, we are going to go all the way to the end of the school. You still following? Good girl. Yeah, we're going to go all the way here. And then I'm going to kill her. And then I have to pull out my camera and see if she poses like a social butterfly. So let me take out my naifu and this bitch is naifu. And pull out the phone. Mm. Ah, damn. That's hard. Oh, let me try it again. Let me restart the day and try it again. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit tricky, but I think I got this. Naifu, laifu, and pull out the phone! Damn it! No, I don't think that she poses. I don't wanna debunk it yet. I gotta test this out on a couple more girls, and if they all fall the same way without posing, then I'll debunk it for sure. Okay, I'm not sure if this is what you meant when you wrote the myth, but I am gonna have her pose for me real quick like this. Come on, pose. Saki, pose. The fuck? Why aren't you posing? Why aren't you posing? You know what? I'm gonna get a more photogenic girl to pose for me. Fuck you, Saki. Let's get you. Can you follow me? We are gonna go on over to the courtyard once I stop getting all gushy over Senpai. There you go. Okay, we are gonna go right here. I'm gonna put this camera right in your face. And... What the fuck? That's not cool. Do I get you to stop following me first? Oh, maybe I do. Okay, let me do this. There? No? What are you doing? Pose. Pose, girl, pose. Pose right now! Right now! Ugh. All right, uh, Saki, how about you pose? You pose for me? You're not gonna pose for me. Okay, let me fast forward time, get all the girls in the courtyard, and then I'll have them pose. Wait, what the fuck are they doing? Why are they spinning like that? That's strange. Okay, all you girls go over here, like so. Thank you. And let me see, are you gonna pose? Pose for me? Sorry, my phone's ringing. There you go, she's right posing. Back. All right, cool. She posed, what about you, you gonna pose? Okay, cool, they're all posing. So I'll get you to follow me. And then we're gonna go behind here so Senpai doesn't notice us. Thank you. And close the door just cause we're respectful. And let's do this. Nope. Okay, I guess once you get them to follow you, they just stop. You know what? Screw this shit! Pose for me! Why don't you guys pose? There you go. Pose, and boom! What nope! She didn't pose! I know it zoomed in on Senpai's face, but that girl did not pose. She was, like, doing the peace signs, but once I put the naifu to her throat, she had that dying animation where, you know, she has that shocked expression, and then she falls to the floor. So that is debunked. A girl or a social butterfly will not react to you pointing the camera at them after you kill them and they will not die in that way. On to the last myth of today's episode. I have one. Do the cheat thing for Kokona. Before class, kill her, but make sure the test is in her desk. 
Will the teacher still tell of Kakona? Clean the body and everything. Will the police say nothing because she was expelled? Okay, we got to do this one really fast. Right now, we got to get that paper, then send it to Infochan so we can get the test answers on it. All right, here's the answer sheet. Let's scoop that up. And then we'll have our baby girl Infochan duplicate the answers for this us. This free. Don't Yes, it better it. be free. I'm broke as hell, girl. Thank you. And let's go put it on Kakona's desk. Okay, I forgot to make sure it was Friday at lunchtime, but now it is, and Budo's fuckboy ass is in the desk again, but that's for a different story. Let's place this on there, and then we have to kill Kakona and hide all the avidants so the police will not know where she is. Hurry, Kakona! The delinquents aren't here yet! We don't have much time! Before they spot, I need to kill your ass! Oh my god, they're almost here. The circle is about to be full black. Kakona, please hurry. Please. For the love of God, hurry. Thank you. Oh my God, I want to show you this knife. Ooh. Introduce it to your throat! And there you go. That's how it's done. Now we take this and dump dad ass over into the incinerator. And all we have to do now is just clean the blood and change our uniform. So let's dump this knife. Ooh, and let's get our janitor game on and clean up the mess. Oh shit. They see the bloody footprints, but you know what? Fuck these guys. Oh shit. Don't mind me, fellas, just mopping some blood. I mean some red paint that I got on my shoes earlier. Totally not blood. Totally not blood. And there you go. That should be the last of Kakoni's blood. And let's get changed and then head to class. Shit, it's time for class. I mean, I had to take a shower, change into my gym suit, but I think we'll be all right. Maybe if we're a little late, the teacher won't say anything. The delinquents are in class. That's good. At least they go to class. They're not that bad. So let's dump this. And then activate, teleport to class, and let's see what happens. Please try to make it to class on time. Take your seat. All right, sorry, Sensei. I apologize. I am very, very sorry. All right, anyway, let's raise this up. What is this? You're cheating? That is absolutely unacceptable. What? Wait, no! I don't know how that got there. Oh, shit. You're Ghost Kakona talking. Lady. Come with me. I'm taking you to the guidance counselor. Okay, so Kakona's ghost got taken to the counselor by the teacher. So let's end the day and see if the police say anything about it. Yandere Chan has failed to eliminate her rival before Friday evening. The girl asked Senpai to meet her under the cherry tree behind the school, blah, blah, blah. Ah, does it not say anything? That's the only time you can get Kakona expelled is on Friday at lunchtime. That's some bullshit, though. All right, so apparently eliminating your rival is more important than finding out if Kakona's body is found by the police as she gets expelled from school. Since we're not able to find out that information on the police in a cheating Kakona, I won't debunk this one. It'll still be up in the air, but I'd like to think that the police won't be able to find her since we burned her body in the incinerator. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, or challenges you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!